Okay, what I've been working on is uh, trying to build a little bit higher aspect ratio Omni wing uh, flying wings. And what I'm using uh, to work with that is a little bit different paper. What this paper is here, uh, now I've got this part covered up because it's got some advertisements on it that doesn't need to be shown on uh, YouTube. Uh, but this, at least I do own that. Uh, the store up in Fayetteville will buy and sell used uh, games and consoles. Um, so I guess I have the rights to show that. This is a uh, eight and a half by thirteen inches, rather than an eight and a half by eleven. And uh, it's just a poster paper, uh, you know, that we had printed up to. Uh, display uh, some advertisements. It's, uh, got, it's a thicker paper. It's got a really nice finish on it. And I like working with this kind of paper because that that fine finish that's on it, front and back, it's very slick. It makes the uh, wing more water resistant and it lends to uh, being able to uh, create much uh, higher aspect ratio and wider wingspans uh, as the um, as you will see here with what I've created. Okay so first uh, I made one with just a single sheet of paper so it ends up being kind of the standard size uh, Omni wing and as you can see here let me put this in a my little statue swan thing here and then <clears throat> what I like to show is is uh, as I rotate the camera forward and back you can see the twist in the wing. See how the uh, right there at that angle right at the center of the keel that is looking straight down level then you can see that gradual twist out on each wing half and uh, from the side view that's really a really beautiful shot of the twist in the wing uh, very similar to what you would see in a modern day uh, hang glider and that's what gives this wing its uh, stability and dive recovery okay so that wing there is not too outrageous. It's just showing working with a different uh, uh, paper. Now, what is outrageous is this monster I've built. And um, okay, and so what we're showing here. twenty six inch wingspan so employing two sheets of the paper to make the uh, each wing half and then I've got the uh, built up leading edge here and then the uh, double surface and we'll set up Mr. Swan here and show you the twist achieved. I have to step back a little ways to get this all in the field of vision. Wow, okay, up on a chair. So, rocking forward, you can see the twist out on the wing tip disappear. It's there and you can see in this area here you can see the top of the wing but as we rotate back here now we can see this is level here but we're starting to see the under surface of the wing there and get a side view here
and just a beautiful wing and why what what is what has made it capable for me to build you know this kind of a wingspan uh, and still support that uh, large amount of twist is the stiffness of the paper and its resilience uh, and I've done a couple of indoor flights but it flies so fast and hard I'm afraid it's going to get damaged so I'm going to wait until I get in a large uh, like a gymnasium or a day that it's uh, nice and still outside right now it's a little windy and rainy so I don't want to take it out there and bust it up but you know this is just what I would call uh, taking uh, the flying wing concept to the extreme uh, a very high aspect ratio craft uh, and really was not a whole lot of time probably about twice as much time to build this than just a normal uh, Omni wing and for those that have uh, pursued the advanced and have had success with that you know go ahead and experiment uh, with the wider nose angles uh, the, uh, and seeing if you can work with different paper types uh, you know it's like the poster paper that has a little more resiliency and stiffness so uh, hopefully uh, in a little while I'll find a location where they'll allow me in to uh, maybe the high school gym or something to uh, do some flights with this and see what kind of glide, glide ratio we're getting. Alright, well, hope you enjoyed, uh, and we will check you all later.